Sai Tech. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. Or in today's video, we are doing the CPU throttling test on the Realme X7 Pro device. As you can see, friends, so this is a Realme X7 Pro, which I did update to the latest Android 11 stable version. So this is a stable Android 11 update, which I just received yesterday. And after that, I started to post the videos on the Android benchmark test, and the Android benchmark test got really improved. So few of the users they really want to know how is the CPU throttling in this Realme X7 Pro after the recent software update. So this is what I'm going to show you, friends, exactly what are the settings I'm trying to use each and every small small detail i'll try to explain you so first let me try to open the settings application and turn on the high performance mode so in the battery section you can, if you go to the more battery options you can find the high performance mode so you need to turn on this option as well let's see by turning on the high performance mode we can actually expect any kind of difference in the performance or not and the second step is to add the cpu throttling into the game space let me to open the game space application so it's a game space application and i'll try to add the cpu throttling into the game space as well and after adding into the game space, let me try to open the CPU throttling. So now you should be able to see the game space option which is present in the sideways as well. We will be able to get that option. As you can see right now, we did get this kind of game space option which is present in the CPU throttling. You can clearly see that. So now I did clear all the background application. Let me try to clear everything and open it again. So now let, let me try to go to the options and I'm trying to show you exactly what kind of settings I'm trying to use. Let's see if it's by using this kind of settings, how much CPU throttling we can actually expect and how much temperatures will increase and how much battery will also decrease. That is, these are the few things which I'll be concentrating during this time of testing. So right now the temperatures is around 33 degrees, not much 34 and 33 only at this point. So I'll try to use only the 50% brightness during this time of testing. So let's see, after the Android 11 update, is there any kind of improvement or not in terms of the performance? So that is what I'm going to check it. How is the throttling effect as well? Let me try to start and I'll be back again after maybe close to five minutes or maybe 10 minutes. As you can see, friends, in the Realme X1 Pro device, right now it, it got close to 11 minutes exactly. And let me try to check the temperatures, how much it is, 40%. 40% is the temperature, friends, that too much in the Realme X1 Pro. 40% with the dimensity 1000 plus using the high performance mode and the game space mode. So battery drain into 96% as you can see here clearly. So 40 is the highest temperature. So again, I'll be back after 15 minutes. So we'll get to know in the final scores when I'm back with the 15 minutes. This is the CPU throttling results friends after 15 minutes continuously doing the Realme X1 Pro. So finally, these are the scores which we got. So it's really good to use this kind of a high performance mode and the game space at the same time. So we are definitely getting the really amazing results in this phone. That is the one thing which uh, I can definitely see here. After the recent software update, it's uh, really great to see this kind of performance. So it did not cross, it did not throttle below 90% as you can see, it's uh, around 91% only right now. That's fantastic. If you want to see the throttling percentage, this is how it is and battery decreased to 94% from 100%. So 6% is decreased during this time of testing. So uh, temperatures 40% increased. So thank you for watching this video friends. For more information, make sure to comment below and see you in the next video friends. Until then, stay tuned. Bye.